Hey, welcome to another video. In this video, we are going to design a card drawer or a slide card or a callback when someone add product to the card, they should get a notification of, um, okay, the product was added to the card and it is already here. So let me show you some example of what I mean. Currently, if we add product to the card, it is going to give us this like console log of the card that we have add the product that we have added to the card. Now it should give us a feedback. Like there are different examples I can give you. For example, we can show a toaster in here, a notification in here that product was added to the card. Here is an example. We can use this library called toaster. When you click on this, you see this toaster in here. Similar to this, we can show on our team. That is totally fine. A lot of people do that. And the other example is this website. Uh, this website used like um, a pop-up cart. This is called pop-up cart. When we add product to the cart, the, the cart appear from the top in here. And lastly, there is a drawer example. The sketch website is using. So here is how you do it. Like if you add, let's say once you add product to the cart and it added this to the cart and it displayed the notification directly in here. This is one example. The other example that they have is like it opened the card in here. The card open in here and they said, okay, the product was added to the card. For example, if I come here and remove this and let me try this in incognito. I think they have that feature. Since I'm testing that, uh, it, it has a cookie and that's why it didn't work for me. So here is an example. If I check like once you click add to the card and it opened this card drawer for me. This is the example that I'm going to do. So let's see how we can do this. I'm going to close this and this is how the card should display free shipping, everything. We will cover all of them in the future. But for now, let me close all of this um, extra website example. And we will do that for our website. When we add it to the card, I want to open the drawer. First, we have to design the drawer, right? And the drawer is also the card. When someone click on this, the drawer should open from uh, right to left. It is exactly the same as our menu in mobile and tablet. So if I bring it down, this is the menu. When you click on this, it open up the menu in here. We should have the same thing, but it should appear from the right, from right to left. This one is from left to right. It should be the opposite. So if I come to my code in here, we have a mobile menu. It is called mobile menu. And this is what the menu transition is. We did this in the previous videos. All I can do is I can just save this. I'm going to save as this one as a copy and I will call it card drawer. You can name it anything card slider, um, card whatever you want to name it. It is like a drawer that opens. So I call it card drawer. Now we have it. Now where do we use it? Currently the mobile was only in the header. So if I open the header, uh, this is where we render the, the the menu because it is only on the header where do we need the card to appear we need it on the collection page we need it on the product page we need it on i don't know on uh, everywhere we need it right so we should put it directly in the theme that liquid in here so where do we put it we can just put it below the header i'm going to just duplicate this this is uh, including a section since we have a snippet you know this is a snippet it is inside the snippet folder. We should use the render. So we render card drawer, something like that. Now the card drawer should render in here. Now is the time to open it. Uh, before opening that, let's see how it works. I'm going to close this sidebar. Here is how it works. Currently it says shows menu is equal to false and we listen for an event of toggle menu and based on that it will show. Since show menu, as for the menu, we have to change this name. It is for a drawer. I'm going to select all of this. I will uh, like press command D for selecting all of this. Show menu and I'm going to ch change it to show car drawer. The name is long, but it is it is making sense. So that's fine. Now we should change the event also. Instead of toggle menu, I can say toggle cart or cart drawer. Cart is fine, I think we are struggling the card in here but if you have different card you have like a drawer you have a pop-up you have a notification you can give them a specific name but this one is fine for me so i will save it for now and it sh that should be it now let's try it out 
let's fire an event called toggle card and it should show this right now how do we fire the event let's open header before opening the header let's check it out let's find out this icon when someone click on this i want to fire an event i want to dispatch an event so in alpine.js we already talked about dispatch so here is the dispatch it is firing an event and we can listen to that it's called notify we can call it like toggle cart so where is the cart button it is here in the header we already added this button and let me see yeah this is exactly what we need now in here let's add a click event and it should dispatch toggle cart something like this now make sure this is inside the alpine component otherwise the click will not work so if i come here we should be all good to go but for now click dispatch and it should do the trick if i save it for now let's come to our theme now here is the thing uh we bring all these changes like the three changes we didn't do a theme watch so here is how i normally do i do a theme watch in here and if i open the config if you don't know it is going to watch for this theme in this website it is watching for that and on the other terminal on other like like command line i am running npx mix watch this one is watching for any css changes and then compiling that since we are using laravel mix this is what you should do now in the video 20 uh, we switch from Shopify CLI to ThemeKit. That's why this is our future workflow. We run a theme watch in here. We run a mix watch in here. So now everything is fine and both of them are watching for any changes. Now let's come and save both of these changes again. I will save the header again. It upload that. I'm going to save this card drawer. It should upload this. I'm going to save theme.liquid. It should update these changes. And if I come to my theme in here, Let's refresh and bring it here. Now when we click on this, it opened the cart drawer in here. Why it is not the menu is not showing? Because this does not have any section. Since we duplicate this, and here is the search input that's showing in here. I'm going to remove that. Let's just keep that in here. I'll call it cart header. And we do need all of these links because these are coming from the menu. And instead of this, we can say card content. For now, that's just an example. Now, if I refresh this again, you click on it, it appears from here. Okay, everything looks fine, except it is appearing from left to right. Now, let's fix that. It should be an easy fix, right? Anything that you see written right, anything that you see in here it's written left make it right anything that is written left you should make it right i don't know what i'm saying but you get the idea so here is the thing we start from the top okay these classes are okay everything is okay in here here is what we should change it says left is zero and instead of left it should be right okay right should be zero means it will be zero from the right okay that's great next up is this transition where this is appearing currently it is appearing from a minus value minus value is in the left so we should make this plus value when you say transition x full it says uh, from x direction make it 100 percent but if you put this minus and in, in front of it it will make it minus 100 percent so we remove that too and let's see yeah this one is called right which one is this uh absolute right is zero this is the close button so it should appear on the left side right so let's say from the left it should be zero and it says margin right is minus eight which is two rm this is let's make it left margin left and then this is padding left s2 we make it padding right and the rest of it any r should be left any left should be right okay now you get the idea all of these are like um i'll tell me in css classes and it should be all we need everything is fine let's go here let's refresh it if we did everything correctly click on this it is appearing from right to left now it is great and now it should display the cart information in here i'm going to quickly add the cart information in here and you will understand what i mean in shopify we have some global objects 
for example, um, cart is a global object. So you can say cart. Now cart will contain all the information about the cart. Uh, either you have discount on the card, either you have a note in the card, you have items in the card, total price, everything. When you say card and you bring, uh, like you save it, you come here, it will show that as a drop. So you open it, it says card drop. Drop means an object. So if it is a drop, you can apply a JSON filter to that. When you apply the JSON filter, it is going to give you the JSON version of this. Okay, let's come here, refresh it. Now you click on this, this is our card as a JSON. Currently it is not displaying a proper information. That's fine since we have all of this. This data is the same data if you go to the card dot JSON. You can send an Ajax request to this URL or you can directly call card JSON and assign like create a JSON file in here. That is something, something you should know. Now inside this you have items, you have item count, you have item weight if the item is a physical product. Those are the things that appear in the card. And you can see the price is showing, everything is showing greatly in here. Now one thing I have to tell you, I'm going to go the, the long way and showing you why I do this way. Because if I go directly to the correct way, you might say, okay, why you didn't do this way? Which if you don't see it in your own like uh, screen, you will never notice like what is wrong with Shopify and why we do this way. Okay, this is fine. Okay, let's display card item in here. So we can loop. We can use the for loop of item and say card.items. Inside this, we can display all product item. Now I can do this. Uh, so here is like the available thing that you have to know. And in H3, let's display the card, uh, the item, the title. This will display the title of the product. And if we want to display the price of this, okay, item.quantity is displaying the quantity. Let's check it out. We come here, and instead of this, it should display we have this blue water, and this is the, what do we call? The quantity. Now, what, what about the images? The images are also available. So item, inside this, we have featured image. So you have Fisher image, you can use that. Now if I come here, let's display the image in here quickly. But behind the scene, I'm going to design this properly and then I will show you how I designed it. So, um, okay, what this is doing? This is auto-completing all of this for me. Ah, uh, okay. This, let me just quickly see if the copilot is doing correctly. Item, variant, image, SRC. Let's see what, what this is doing. Item quantity, variant title, price, everything is great. And if I refresh this, how would it look? Okay, the image is not correct. So this is not working properly, image SRC. So we can say feature image IMG URL. Let's give it a 400X. Image URL that just uh, crap the image 400 because we don't want a big image in here. Now if I refresh it, it should display an image in here, but it is not. It is featured image. Mm. Let's see what could be wrong in here. Okay, I am going to inspect it because I didn't do it. Yeah, the image is 404. So this is not how we say. If we say item that image, that should be fine. Let's see featured image you have the source, the URL in here. Okay, let's can just refresh this. Now it is showing the image in here, but this is too small in here. If I check, this is too small because of these classes, height and width. I'm going to remove that. It should display 400 and everything else should be fine. Now how easy it is, like how smart Copilot is. Not exactly the design I want, but it is displaying like really good. Okay, I'm going to give it a width. Uh, that was too much, so I'm going to give it at least 28. Removing the rounded, so it should display the titles also in here. But currently it displays like this. No, it is not the correct way of displaying it. I'm just like testing, yeah, this is how it looks. Now if you have multiple product, it should display multiple product. Let's go to catalog. 
and this product is also available let's add it to the cart currently like these are variant we will focus on that in a future video the variants are not showing properly it added to the cart let's refresh our page for now we depend on refresh this is how it looks since this one does not have an image it will display like this but we should handle that also and this is the quantity looking nicely in here but i will redesign this one so now you get the idea of how you display all of this together now this is the cart item that you see now the point is this okay let me go to this product oops not clickable the idea is here that if when we add product to the cart it should update the cart in here using ajax currently when you add it to the cart we have to refresh and then we see that is what we do in the future videos and i don't want to get this video too long i hope it has been informative and in the next video we will work on how we can make all this data dynamic and as soon as we add to the cart it should reflect the cart in here that's what we do in the next video thank you